When voters approved medical marijuana in 2016, it created opportunities. Experts figure some 30,000 people will take advantage of the drug. Amendment 98 also mandated that Arkansans make up at least 60% of any ownership group. As an 11 News investigation showed yesterday, that has led to applications that the Alcohol Beverage Control Board is looking into. And tonight, we introduce you to some of the would-be marijuana millionaires with proven Arkansas roots. Here's THB 11's Roly Hoyt. How do you prove to the government that you can run a business when that business has never legally existed? Businessman, uh, I, I just put, put it together as a business plan like I normally would. One way, keep the new customers in mind. Um, I think that I was excited to think that maybe we could make a difference for some of those people. Dragon Vicenic is part owner of Green Springs Medical. Elizabeth Barrett co-owns Rock City Harvest. They are small business veterans among the 32 groups licensed to dispense medical marijuana. After months and months of delays, they are now mere days away from opening. They are defying the odds, outscoring out-of-state consultants with homemade proposals. Quite honestly, the dining room table. <laughs> yes, yes. But, but yeah, it kind of became surreal um, mid-December mid when, when the scores came out, and, and uh, I think mine was like the fourth highest in the state. They credit original ideas for winning the merit-based process. Vicenic also owns a vape shop. He figured he could help pain patients the way his vaping products help tobacco smokers. If, you know, I, I want to help people and, and, you know, get them to change over to a natural product that's healthier. Um, and so um, I, I think we probably pioneered their, that part of it. I, I don't think too many other people came up with, with that idea. I think a lot of them are hopeful. You know, a lot of people hurt. They just don't want to hurt anymore. And that's what drove Dr. Randy Hill to get involved in a parallel lane to selling marijuana. He and three partners approved medical marijuana cards. There, there's a buzz about it. I mean, they're just, people are excited about having something they could take, you know, with the stigma behind opioids this day and age. Everybody feels like a drug addict when you walk in your doctor's offices. Speaking of stigma, the people we spoke with have all encountered varying levels of discomfort here in the buckle of the Bible Belt. We took a big risk in the community. You know, our reputations were at stake. We, we didn't know what the patients would think about this. You know, uh, we didn't know what the community would think about it. We could have been pariahs. Dr. Hill falls back on his hospice experience for motivation while vowing his business isn't a rubber stamp. Barrett ran a plant nursery in Conway. It was a horticultural business, and of course, cannabis is in that realm. So uh, it's it's not such a difference, except that it's Every, every detail is highly, highly regulated. And that's been part of the challenge to these locals making money. They had to DIY the applications. I, I do know that there were a lot of companies that had consulting firms that uh, helped with their applications, maybe, maybe even did more than that. Um, I, I don't agree with that because that was maybe a little bit of an unfair playing field. Anytime there's money involved, there's going to be a, everybody trying to get their piece of the pie. You know, it could easily be a million dollar investment. <laughs> Whether or not it turns into a million dollars in return, I think this is at the end of the day a business. Early indications are many customers held off getting marijuana cards, but these owners remain cautiously optimistic. I think that once the first dispensary opens, um, I think that those numbers will, will, will just, you know, be out, be out of this world. You know, we need to find a way that helps people deal with these really tragic, chronic diseases that seem to be so prevalent these days. I think cannabis is going to serve up a really good role in that. I hope that the people that are getting in this industry realize that there's a right reason for this and there's a wrong reason for it. For 11 News Investigates, I'm Roly Hoyt. Green Springs Medical is set to be inspected by the state tomorrow. And if all goes well, the owners think they will be ready to open on Monday. That would make them the first in the state to sell the drug legally. Doctor's Orders in Hot Springs is scheduled to open next Wednesday.